Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Pretty crazy day on the FIFA Ultimate Team market with a lot of market crashing going on. Prices are dropping. Everything is going haywire. At least so it seems, all right? But stay calm, stay chill. It's gonna be just okay. We're gonna see the market rise again at some point in the next couple of days. It's gonna happen, all right? It's just a big time market correction is what I wanna describe this as. And we're gonna talk about why this happened today. A lot of market prices correcting, stuff that was just too expensive to begin with. And now of course that we see it going down, it just kind of makes sense why this stuff is going down just because it was too expensive to begin with. Prices were just too high. They would not maintain that level and that just expensive nature that a lot of these cards were even though we're at the start of the game and a lot of stuff is you know there's not a lot of supply for some cards yet there's a lot more supply this year i'm going to talk about that and also maybe the effect of patreons that they had on some of these cards today uh, because it's it's it is to be said that there are patreons and a lot of investors even some of us right we hurt the market today a little bit because of all of the panic selling and just getting liquid, I guess you could say, because a lot of us were trying to make coins. So we did lose some coins today. I'll take you through my transfer list and talk about stuff that happened. We'll maybe even sprinkle a little bit of time with the ones to watches, but uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have a separate video about those cards uh, and a lot of those that were very profitable today and stuff that did move. So let's get to the business, right? Why did this market drop so much on Saturday? Now, of course, first things first, there was one SBC that kind of just hit this all off. Today at 6 p.m. UK on Saturday at 6 p.m. UK, it was the Osimens Transfer SBC for a Prime Electrum Players Pack. Now, we've had a lot of SBCs like this, right? Just a little pack supply SBC. This is a decent pack, though, and it's tradable. And those are the two things that EA does. A very easy pack supply SBC for a decent pack that supplies the market, drops the market. But usually we see it bounce right back. We've seen it for the past couple of days where we've been basically going, looking for a pack supply SBC, watching the market drop for two hours, and then buying cards in that rebound, and then selling the next morning and making a decent amount of profit for like a little 12 hour flip, right? But this is different, right? This is very different because we had another set of promo cards coming out, more supply, and then a lot of people who are just getting supplied even, even more on the market. A lot of these cards like Dembele, Allen, Bale, Sun, Martial, like these guys are getting packed and there's more and more supply with all the promo packs that we've had this year. Uh, that is really just making this stuff kind of drop and it's basically stuff was just inflated Beforehand and we just kind of didn't realize it I mean the market just kind of was petering out at the top and we had a bit of pack supply We have some SBCs and people are trying to upgrade their cards and we're just realizing that all this supply that is here Really is this is just kind of like a market correction for a lot of these cards. I just noticed this Wow Richarlison is 13k after literally being Wow, look at this, man. This is wild. Friday morning, this guy was 21,000 coins. Yeah, and he's down to 13K. Dang, big drops today across the board. Now, that's even not that huge of a drop. But, you know, we have guys like Sun at 230. You have Bale, who was like 100,000 coins a couple days ago. Is it 60K? Um, ben Yedder was like 130 yesterday. Now he's 100K. Jesus was 70. Now he's 50. Some of these cards like Sané and Havertz that are out of packs now really dropped a lot today. And I'll, I'll mention those too. But... Really, the gist of what happened today is a lot of stuff was just overpriced to begin with. And here's a perfect example of that. Gareth Bale, 83 rated card, right? I know there's a lack of right wings in the Prem. I know that there's not very many of them. But if you look at Gareth Bale and Lucas today, both of them took a massive, massive hit in price. And it honestly is just down to two things. They're rating. They're 83 rated. And... Uh, they're just overhyped because people knew that these are going to be two very good cards in the game. Bale has the transfer hype. Lucas has the hype of just being an OP meta player in a rare position where there's not a lot of right wings and right forwards and right mids in the prem. There's just not a lot of other options to be there. So that's going to inflate the price a little, but the supply finally caught up to those today. And you know, people are upgrading from a guy, a guy like Lucas. They might be going for a Salah or they might be going for, um, a more highly touted right wing that is in this game or, or, you know, I'm trying to, I'm struggling to think of other right wings at the moment, but, um, a lot of this stuff, people are just moving on from even a guy like Bale. And there's just too, there was too much supply underneath these cards that we didn't really realize. And a lot of investors as well started undercutting each other today. And it was just a big, the best, easiest way to describe it is just a price correction. That's kind of all it was. These guys are just too expensive for their own good. And for how the market is acting right now, I think that is just the best way to describe it. And it explains the whole thing of what is going on with this market. Some of these prices were just too expensive and too high for their own good. Uh, for what, where are we at right now in, in the, what is the second or third week of FIFA ultimate team? 
stuff was just too high. So uh, that's kind of the reason why cards went down today. And yes, there was some pack supply as well. These cards did get supplied again. Again, talking about the supply, we've had more pack supplies at SBCs this year. You know, we had a lot last year, but we have even more this year. And one thing we've also had more of this year is promo packs. Promo packs during this first week, 25,000 coin packs in the store. They're updating these every single day, 24 hours. Five of these packs in the store. Usually in years past, we've only had 15Ks and maybe one day of 25Ks. But some days they're dropping 25Ks and 15Ks. I think the 15Ks are in here. Yeah, right here, 10, 15Ks and 525 Ks today on a random Saturday inside a foot. That's a lot of supply. There really is a lot of supply and that's really gonna catch up to us and that's kind of what we've been seeing happen, right? A lot of this market has also been inflated by people like us who are trying to trade and invest and maybe holding these cars because we think they're gonna rise over the weekend for foot champions. And that of course really caught up with us this weekend and that contributed to a lot of the percentage drops that you saw today on the market too. On some players that were just very meta that some people have been holding on their transfer list for a while or even had in their teams. Uh, and the, a lot of those just dropped today because people started undercutting each other and undercutting each other and that just made the percentage drops worse. Prime example of this is Havertz, Sané, Firmino. I think Ramos dropped today as well. These are all investments. I was even talk, telling you guys like, yo, Havertz is probably gonna be decent out of packs and Sané is gonna probably be decent out of packs as well because we saw how good Bale and Allen did. And these are the, both you know, pretty hype players that just got transfers and they're out of packs for ones to watch. But what we didn't encompass in that thought is just the fact that the market was overpriced as a whole. Now it's coming back down. And a lot of people that invested in these Havertz, in these Sanes are selling today, taking the coins on them and are realizing their loss. And that's making these cards drop even more than some other cards on the market because these were over invested in as possible out of pack gold investments while they're ones to watch as we're in packs. So that's kind of the effect. I know some people were saying today that, that Patreons had an effect on the market drop. And yes, Patreons, traders, people that are trying to make coins on this game, the foot trading community definitely aided the percentage drop. The market maybe would not have dropped as much if it was a true just oversupply and the prices had to recorrect and uh, and all that. But since there were a lot of people that had Havertz on the transfer list, had Sané just chilling on their transfer list, waiting for their card prices to rise out of packs, that really is part of the catalyst for what why these cards went down so much today. Havertz was 120,000 coins, and this guy was 110,000 coins. They Havertz dropped 30K, man, 30K. That card dropped in literally a matter of like a day and a half because of him getting a once to watch, going out of packs, people investing, and then the market dropping, and a lot of people selling that stuff on the market uh, today. So of course, this is affecting the market all around. Meta cards, informs are down, and this is where it gets kind of interesting, right? Because all this stuff is being sold, but when does it come back? Does it come back? What cards do come back? What cards are, are, you know, popular, meta, and hyped up enough that are gonna rise? I've heard a lot of people saying today that they don't wanna trade with gold cards anymore because they just lost coins today on gold cards and they don't wanna mess with it. They just fluctuate too much. They're too risky. I'll say this about that, right? Yes, there is a, a bit more risk, especially when, whenever a card's in packs, and especially for gold cards because they're in packs basically all year unless they get a special card. There's always a little bit more risk with these, but think about where we are in this stage of FIFA, right? Not everybody in this game can afford a full inform team. There's not even barely enough informs for you to make like a full inform or special card team yet. You maybe have one or two special cards in your team and that's kind of about it. Still people in this game are using mostly gold cards for their teams. So that for me is gonna still, there's gonna be a lot of demand for a lot of those gold cards. I'm not gonna stop trading with gold. Thursday flipping with gold cards, you know, buying in on a panic selling because an SPC comes out that's a substitute item for a gold card on this game, like an Allen would drop because of a, let's say like they did an SPC Ducore or something. I don't know, but gold cards are still going to be good to trade with. Just because you had a loss on a card at one time does not mean you have to hate that card and you can't touch that card ever again, right? Take it on the chin, you know, you get knocked down, but pop right back up, make the next move, don't be scared to invest your coins again because you lost some, all right? You have to spend coins to make coins on this game, right? You, you have to take some action in order to get better and you have to learn. This is just a learning experience for all of us, right? Learning experience, that's what this was. So that's a little bit of a pep, pep talk, I guess, to not be scared to trade with gold cards. A lot of people are looking at these cards now and they're like, hey, I'm gonna trade with informs, I'm gonna trade with icons, I'm gonna trade with this kind of stuff because it's out of packs, there's less chance that it drops, right? 
there's still a lot of these cards in here that are going to drop more, but there's also a lot of them that are probably going to go up from this and still have room to grow and room to go back up because they're just very overpowered, very popular, and used by so many people in this game that they're going to rebound. De Jong is 60k, man. This guy was literally 85,000 coins two days ago. That's crazy. Uh, Davies, this is another example of supply. Wow, Bales wants to watch his flying. Uh, Davies was 65,000 coins. Now he's 48 as an 81 rated card. Messi's down a bunch. Wijnaldum's down 20k. So we can look, we can go through these lists and look at a lot of players that are down. Um, but again, back to the informs. Yes, these are going to be good cards to trade with, but just watch over the next couple of days. If a lot of people are looking to trade with these and icons now, instead of gold cards, wherever there are less eyes, you can make more coins because there's less people looking at it. So just be aware of that. And because people might be a bit scared of gold cards because of how much they dropped, it might be a decent time to trade with gold cards again. And I do expect a lot of these cards to bounce back this week as we have another week in league on the horizon. We have the first set of week in league rewards coming later this week. But when is that bounce back going to happen? Now, I do expect that a lot of this panic selling will st start to subside later in the weekend. We still have weekend league going strong right now. A lot of people are cranking out their games. It's Sunday, right? There's squad battle rewards tonight as well. This might be kind of the time frame where we see stuff, maybe the end of the crash, I guess you could say, and maybe a little bit of a time where we can buy into some stuff as it could go a little bit lower because I do think it's going to go a bit lower today because more people are going to be selling off their weekend league stuff. Now, again, as I'm looking right now on the market, I'm, I mention this to you guys all the time. Look at all these listings here. I, I'm searching at 427,000 coins for Sadio Mane, which Footbin says this is his like lowest price, 420K. It looks like he's actually a little bit lower than that. But look how many cards here we have chem styles on. These are cards that people are using and they're selling because they're either taking the coins, it's an investment that was failed, or they're using it in their team, right? We only have one item here that is have a basic chem style. N none of these are fresh cards, right? That means Mane is not dropping because he's getting packed and he's getting supplied anymore. He's just dropping because people are finishing their weekend league and they're selling that card to get coins in their club. They're just basically cashing out and selling their teams. Now, all these people that are selling their teams, there's really not any demand with the new division rivals changes, the new way that you're getting division rivals points. If you played all 30 games of weekend league this weekend, there's not really a demand for you to buy a team yet because what are you going to do this week with division rivals oh you can't play your 30 games because if you finish your foot champs your 30 foot champs games counted for your division rival score and you're kind of just sitting in the mud and you can't do anything right there's really nothing to grind except for heaven forbid squad battles or maybe a live foot friendly objective maybe you finish jota or something there's not going to be a lot of demand i don't think monday tuesday wednesday because of that change to division rivals so i don't know how big of a market rise we're going to have like friday or sat sunday night into the first part of the week, but that could be a decent time to get some of the lowest prices for some of these cards. Of course, depending on what content comes out next in the week, we don't know that, but um, I think we're gonna have a decent rise. If nobody's buying their teams until, you know, getting ready for division rivals next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for the weekend, which is kind of how things are being set right now in this game. It's all about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday with division rivals and weekend league. How much of a rise are you really going to have on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? But regardless of that, I do think the lowest time on the market is probably going to be at some point today on Sunday or maybe early Monday morning with squad battle supply and pre-order pack supply coming late to the, to the market tonight. So just be very careful of that. I do expect probably like we had last Sunday, start of a sell-off with whatever type of content we get today on Sunday. You'll probably see a little bit of a sell-off starting at 6 p.m. UK until you know, the rewards time for squad battle rewards because people finish the league, weekend league champs, they're selling their squads and they're just selling cards because they think they're going to get supplied at squad battles. But then after squad battles is when we usually start to see things pick up. So if you want to buy anything tonight, I mean, you can definitely be my guest, right? Watch the cards. If, if there's cards that you want to buy, not for purely an investment, but purely, purely for your team, a lot of these cards, it seems like they're on sale right now, right? It seems like they've been discounted and their prices have dropped a decent amount. See if they drop any more today and watch your cards specifically, right? Add them to your transfer targets, watch and see where they sell at and just watch them because it might be a decent time, right? Some of these high high rated meta cards like Amani, who's 427,000 coins right now, 420 basically, 419. This dude is like 450,000, 60,000 coins at his peak. Uh, even yesterday before the crash kind of happened, right? Now he's down to 420. This guy might be down to like 400,000 coins at some point today, possibly. That's just an example of how a card could drop a little bit more today, but it's probably going to rise back up next week because it's a very meta player for the weekend league. So I do expect the market to bounce back, but 
It might not be a right away on Sunday, but that also might be the lowest day. So just kind of bear in mind with that. Um, now today, some of the trades that I made, I lost some coins today too, right? I was right there with you. I still have some cards that I'm going to lose coins on. I've got two Vandebeeks that I bought at like 20,000 coins and he's 8,000 coins, right? So I'm losing a decent amount right there per card. I bought this Sané at 110. He's 90K, but I was able to make some flips today. Just some, just some trades. You can still trade, right? Quick flips are still a thing. And with ones to watch cards and with panic selling on informs today, it was a great time to pick up some of these informs because some of them bounced back during the panic selling and some of these ones to watch cards scored goals today and they, you know, bounce kind of bounce right back up. So I'm going to make a separate video on how to trade with ones to watches because that is very prevalent. And a lot of these cards are scoring goals. A lot of these players are scoring goals. So it's very, uh, how do I say this? It is just very exciting to trade with ones to watches right now. Uh, but informs are going to be good too. And, and so are icons. I think a lot of people are going to go to the icon and the inform market, the out of packs cards, just because it will seem safer to them. Uh, but again, don't be scared of golds, right? Don't be scared of gold. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. They're still going to rise because they're meta, they're popular, and a lot of people are still using them in their team. So again, just to break it all down, we're probably going to see a little bit more crashing today into Sunday, maybe not so much in the morning. I would probably expect the graph right here on Footpin probably to stay kind of like this, maybe on the index 100, probably stay pretty flat, maybe maybe a little bit of a downturn in the morning, maybe a bit of an up, up uh, tick up. And then as we get to the 6 p.m. content drop down, if we do get another pack supply SBC, maybe down a little bit more and then kind of probably dropping not as much as this, but just a little bit into rewards. And then, of course, from there on, you're going to have all the people that sold today and on Saturday want to buy their cards back, want to be having teams again, want to just have cards in their club or even people just investing. So that's going to push the market up a little bit in some areas. So just be kind of careful with that. So yeah, hopefully that helps explain kind of why I think the market went down today a bunch. I know a lot of you lost coins, right? Take it on the chin, bounce right back. For every one time there's a market crash like this, there's five other opportunities at least on this market to go and make your coins back. So right, just take it on the chin, bounce right back up. And re just remember, right? You can't get scared after this, right? You have to spend coins to make coins, right? You have to buy a card and you have to, you know, use your knowledge and use your experience to either flip a card or invest in a card and make it go and watch it go up. You have to spend coins to make coins, right? So you can't just sit there with your coins in the top left and expect them to go up. You got to do something with them, right? So don't be scared. That's my number one advice after this, right? So we're going to bounce back, boys. It's going to be great, all right? This next week's going to be good. Maybe Scream coming. Maybe both ones to watch will be in packs. Of course, we have midweek games with Champions League, so that could bring out some content as well. It's going to be a fun week, boys, all right? So don't be, don't be worried. Don't be scared, all right? This market, it'll take care of itself. It'll bounce back in the areas that is the most fit. So if you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.